Whoever did that shit to Drew got seat too. There is a new trailer and from all indications, Lorenzo would die soon. What's up, Power fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino and I'm back with another Power video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about Lorenzo's error when he shot Zeke and who is likely to find out that he was the one who shot Zeke. I'll also be talking about Tariq, Diana's new discovery and Lauren holding a cutter knife here and many more. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, share, like, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Now, let's get straight into the topics. First off, let's look at the errors Lorenzo made when killing Zeke unknowingly. In the last episode of season 2, when Lorenzo shot Zeke thinking that was Mecca, he made some errors before leaving the scene. Now, if thorough investigation is done at the crime scene, I'm very sure they will soon get Lorenzo. After mistakenly shooting Zeke, he didn't leave the scene immediately. He went to check the car Zeke drove there and further opened the door with his bare hands, leaving his fingerprint on the door. Secondly, the pilot saw his shaved hair even though the place seemed dark, so his description can point fingers at Lorenzo. Now, aside that and his fingerprints on the car, the next thing could possibly be civilian cameras that may show Lorenzo was close and around the scene. But then, it's been three months now and the police didn't say anything about even a suspect. So, it's likely that they haven't even explored these options yet. Now, there is pressure on Lorenzo to give Monet some answers about who killed Zeke. But since he's the one who is responsible for the crime, he's likely to take some decisions that might even make him more suspicious rather. Now, in the recent trailer, we heard Lorenzo telling Monet that whoever did that shit to Drew, did it to Zeke too. Whoever did that shit to Drew got Zeke too. I feel Lorenzo's desperation to get some answers for Monet made him set up Drew to be roughed by some guy so that he can conclude that it is the same person who killed Zeke too. Then he will go and bring that guy to Monet as Zeke's killer. Now, Monet is likely to buy into this idea quickly because of the emotional pain she's going through over Zeke's death. But Kane is likely not to buy Lorenzo's theory. This will further make Lorenzo suspicious to Kane. Now, if Kane is smart, he can play with Lorenzo's mind to get him confess to him about what happened to Zeke. Now, I have a feeling that Kane will be the first person to put two together and realize Lorenzo shot Zeke. So let me know what you also think about this in the comment section. Now, still on Lorenzo, this new trailer exhibits that Lorenzo is definitely going to die in this season. That is why in the first trailer, we see Kane and Drew as first two sons in front of their father's casket. Then again, Kane is seen wearing his father's Jesus piece around his neck. We all know Kane has been wanting to be his father's right-hand man, so it's not surprising to see him wearing his chain even before his burial. I should be your right hand, not Drew. And you're always running your fucking mouth. Don't raise up on me. Now, in this same trailer, we see Blanca briefing her crew on her lead suspects. And if you look closely on the board, you will see Tate, Tariq, Davis, Monet, then Lorenzo. Now, on top of Lorenzo's picture is another picture of a dead person I believe is the same Lorenzo. The shape of the head from where I see is looking like that of Lorenzo. I don't know about you, but let me know what you also think about this. Do you also agree or think that it could be Lorenzo? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Then we have Kane, Drew, and even Zeke and Jabari. I believe Carrie and Diana and even Brayden will be part of this list. Now, one thing I know about Blanca is that she's very good with her theories, but getting solid evidence has been her challenge to now. Proctor and his daughter weren't just visiting the penthouse that night. They were house guests, and Tariq never mentioned it. The more she seems close to getting an evidence, the further away she is from getting a proof. But let's see if this time around Blanca can nail this Rico case. So as you see here, our guy Lorenzo will catch a hot one soon. Now, let me guess how Lorenzo might be killed. Now, this is my theory if I was the writer. Now, this is how I think Lorenzo's death can also play out provided Monet didn't kill him herself. Now, when Norma raided Mecca's penthouse, Kane informed the family about the new beast in town. She's looking for Mecca's killer, but we held that down. Nobody said shit. He also told them that she's looking for Mecca's killer, so technically, Monet knows that Norma is looking for Mecca's killer as much as she's looking for Zeke's killer. In other words, Norma is looking for Monet. 
Now, if eventually Monet finds out that Lorenzo was the one who killed Zeke, which will come as a shock to her, knowing that she was also the one who off Mecca, she can potentially give up Lorenzo to Norma as the one who killed Mecca. Then Norma will take out Lorenzo instead of Monet as Mecca's killer. Monet will feel she has avenged Zeke's death while staying alive, even though she was the one who actually killed Mecca. Now, this is what I think. I don't know about you, but let me know what you also think about this. Leave your thoughts, your theories in the comment section, especially on how you think Lorenzo will be exposed for Zeke's death. Now, moving on, let's talk about Lauren and Diana. But first, Diana. The always snoozing Diana is up again with another discovery. Now, we all know that Diana's discovery so far changes the dynamics of issues in power by bringing serious tension. Over here, we see her finding out some hidden cash under someone's bed. Now, whoever is hiding money under their beds should get ready because Diana knows. For this, I can't even guess who is hiding lots of cash under their beds here. Maybe it will be her new roommate, Becca. Or it could be Monet. It's Monet again. She's always the problem. I don't know, but let me know what you also think in the comment section. Now, moving to Lauren. Lauren is still after knowing the truth and how soon she'll come back to life again. But here in the trailer, I can only assume that Lauren is getting tired of the hideout and she probably was sneaking out in the middle of the night and she was caught by a guard. So if you notice, she is holding a cutter knife. I can only assume she's holding that as a protection. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Now, let's talk about Tariq. Tariq seemed to have fallen in some bad hands and got rescued by Norma. In the trailer, some people pointed gun at Tariq and one to his head. I'm sure some negotiation went bad, but luckily for him, Norma came to his rescue and shot the people. This scene again will show Tariq the accuracy of Norma because of the person holding the gun to his head has his blood spilled on Tariq's cheek after Norma shot them. I know someone will ask how I get to know is the same scene. Now, if you look at the environment, the dresses, and the temperature, you will know that it is the same location and there are some cracks in the background as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section so far about this new trailer, how Lorenzo is going to die, Tariq's move, what Dinah has probably discovered, and whose money were under those beds. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Now, if you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, and most importantly, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.